at the stage I think most people have been coming here for is to announce some winners. Um, so just a few things before we get to that. Um, I've only been able to highlight the top winning winners for each issue. So not if you got a submission prize, but uh, there will be a full list coming out right after this presentation. So within about 30 minutes, we're going to post into Flipfest with a giant markdown file that will contain all of the awesome projects, links to them, um, everything else you need with your payout information, um, everything. So be ready to wait for that, but this will just cover kind of the, the big issue winners uh, for, for now. All right, so we're gonna start off with learning tools. Um, we have a couple of crypto dappy tickets. So the NFT marketplace uh, demo that you saw from Phil, um, that's gonna take the win there. And then we had a localization feature. Um, and again, I'm gonna butcher all these GitHub handles. Uh, I don't know if they're meant to be phonetic, but uh, Kay Nagato uh, is gonna win the localization one now that crypto dappy is available, I believe in four different languages. Moving on, we have the improving the resource explorer. So you saw that demo as well. Um, and congratulations to uh, Ichana for winning that one. And he actually won both here. Uh, so one actually resulted, I think, from the other, where we realized there was a bunch of errors in the console that we wanted to get rid of as well. So thank you for getting rid of those and winning that issue. Then we have a uh, Markdown and readmes, and you, I think you'll notice a trend of uh, Hichana helping out a lot with the playground here. But um, we have now ability to add readmes to your uh, deployed um, playground project, and so you can share some context alongside your code, uh, which is going to be super useful when you're shipping that around. And lastly, we had uh, Sotop, who actually was a little bit delayed in getting his last submission in because. Uh, of a lot of different things he's been dealing with uh, in, in a country, I believe, that is going through civil war and a lot of different uh, struggles. He, he still managed to finish his ticket, um, got it submitted, and he's going to win that one there. And then the last one, we have uh, a non-React FCL example. Um, so Amit Kothari, I believe, uh, he ma made one in Svelte and uh, published that. So it has great UIs. Be sure to check that out. Moving on to dev tools, uh, we have JS testing features. So where you're able to now return multiple values. Uh, again, team exponential there with Tichana and just Jules. The emulator feature, uh, being able to bootstrap with default contracts. So currently the emulator spins up with nothing on it. Um, takes a few things to get it started, but now you are able to preload it with a bunch of contracts. So thank you to M Woofy for that. Next, we have the first probably community contribution to FCL that was quite significant, um, and it's to pre-calculate the transaction hash before it's sent to the chain. Um, that's going to help out with just usability heuristics, and it was something that the Go SDK could do, but uh, not in JavaScript, but not anymore. Uh, ABC, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that, ABCD, SLD, congratulations for winning that. Um, and I believe you might have a few more coming up as well. And then uh, we have a feature on the CLI for state management. Um, so Gregor had actually worked uh, from the core team, had worked on this for a little bit of effectively being able to replay, move it back and forth between states in the CLI um, and save state, uh, et cetera. And BlueSign um, went above and beyond and integrated Git as a backing to the state. Um, and so you can do some really great things with that. So be sure to check that out as well. And then we have some hot commands on the CLI. Uh, I think this was providing some autocomplete features on files and stuff. Um, so that's been great by sac sham 2113 um, And again, to ABC uh, for finishing a emulator feature that now reports the gas used, uh, which I know we get a lot of questions about. So how people will know. And the big one, uh, we have the block explorer. So that was the closer that you saw uh, presented by the flippers and they're going to take home the, the first place prize on that one. And lastly, we have a, uh, CLI feature to launch the dev wallet right from the CLI and blue sign completed that one. And then probably our biggest category where we're handing out the most amount of prizes is all our brand new SDKs. So for any of those people that contributed there, 
Thank you so much. We have a new .NET one from uh, Tyrone Brand. We have a new Swift one from uh, the Z team, uh, LMCMZ. Um, I actually know his name is Hao. And uh, yeah, he's done some great work. That one actually has FC, not just an SDK, but also FCL. And then Rust was a very close one. Uh, we had two submissions there, uh, but we have to give one, uh, give it to Fee One Dead. So congratulations on taking that on the Rust SDK. And for Ruby, uh, we have new 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 less cities. Oh man, I if if I believe that person is also on the call. So if you want to unmute and tell us how to pronounce that, that would be, <laughs> that would be great too. But congratulations on winning the Ruby SDK. And then lastly, we had uh, our Python SDK, which was in some major need of improvement. And uh, we had a uh, person called Bear Ketty finish that off. And uh, it is now in par with all of the other ones. Um, so one of, the, one of the great things that we got out of this was all the SDKs now cover the same use cases uh, in terms of documentation. So imagine on Stripe or other APIs where you're able to flip the language and just all of the examples change to that language. Um, we could realistically now do that because everyone covers the same set of user stories and did the documentation in the same way. Um, so that's going to be one exciting thing we're looking forward to. For the infrastructure tools, um, we also had some competition here. There was two teams that built very, very similar and close uh, solutions to each other. Um, but one was slightly more modular than the other, um, had a few extensible features. So we had to give it to uh, Chris Weyu, uh, and he'll be taking the prize there. And then for the non-custodial wallet, um, so you, had, you saw the presentation on this one, uh, Zay Codes is going to take that. Um, what's interesting here is we actually have another submission that we couldn't accept because it was actually very, very late. Um, but I will be posting that in the uh, doc that's going to come out later. So feel free to check out the other submission. And then for our uh, decentralized identifiers, DIDs, uh, we had a great proposal there with a lot of thought and a full working example of how they would implement it. Um, so definitely check that out, but great job to MUFI. And of course, the NFT metadata standard goes to the non-fungibles uh, from the presentation you saw from VR10. And lastly, I talked about this uh, slightly earlier about some outstanding uh, contribution awards. Um, so just for some of those people that really went above and beyond the scope of their issue, uh, to give them an additional boost uh, to really know that we are very thankful for, for that work. Um, so one's going to go to Phil, um, so there's going to be an additional 10k bonus there. Um, and another one is uh, to a contributor to the NFT metadata standard um, that wasn't part of the non-fungibles, but he did spend quite a bit of time uh, interacting and proposing his own things, um, plus giving a lot of feedback to the flow team. So we're going to offer him some additional prize there as well. And then the last one uh, was the event indexing service, as I mentioned, it was so close. Um, it felt very unfair to say that one was the direct winner over the other. Um, and so we're going to offer him a large uh, sizable chunk there as well, 25K out of the, the 50K available, um, just to know that uh, both were, it was, it was very hard to, hard to choose between the two. And that concludes it for our prizes. These are some fun summaries. Um, the full accuracy is going to be TBD. Uh, it's going to be from the sheet that I published later. But as a whole, uh, here were the top team winners. So Team Exponential taking it home uh, with Chana and Just Jules. Um, they were very close, if not like the exact same to the non-fungibles. Um, so barely first or second place, but amazing work to both of those teams. Um, and lastly, to the Flippers as well, uh, who's going to be taking third place there. And then in terms of individual winners, um, just to give you guys an idea, uh, we had uh, Hichana do four tickets. Um, I believe that is probably one of the most out of the, the FlipFest participants. Um, so he's going to win it there, uh, taking home the most amount of prize. And then we have Mufi in second place, completing two issues. And then in third, we have a bunch of people, a, a seven-way tie, uh, because that was the prize for completing the SDKs. So most of the people on there are the SDK winners. And then finally, if you didn't see your name on here, um, that doesn't necessarily mean you 
are walking home with nothing, um, please wait for that file to come out. And then you can check for your name there to see if you went home with any submission prizes. And we have a lot of them. So most likely you did get something. Awesome. I'm just going to cover some quick logistics about how you are going to be able to claim your rewards. Um, so that basically we got you guys to post on GitHub uh, with your email. So we're going to be sending off emails this week um, from a Dapper Labs email, likely mine, and we'll ask you for some basic information uh, like your flow address, um, your, your name and your custodian, I believe. And then once you send that information back to us, um, we're going to send that off to our accounting team and they will have the tokens delivered. Um, we're still deciding the date, but likely in December. Um, and as stated before, it will be based off the uh, average price in November uh, for how many flow tokens are, are going to be delivered.